Hello, welcome back to the fish locker out on the boat. Now it's a bit of an unusual afternoon. Steam through thick fog, go out here and it's great. That easterly swell's dropped off and we're just gonna go and check our crab pots. They've been sat now for about five days because we've had some real bad easterly weather. It's caused a hell of a swell. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we'll have something in them. The worst of the weed grows on the rope near the surface. Whoa. Don't know why, but I feel like the first one's always the hardest. <laughs> Got a couple of nice crabs so far. And another crab. Seems to just be loads of crabs around here. <laughs> yeah, I've moved my pots off into deeper water because we had we had some pot thefts. I'll tell you what, hauling them in 30 feet is a damn sight easier than hauling them in 60 feet. Whew. It's 60 feet deep here now and it's low tide. So yeah, I've got them set quite a lot deeper. And they're all crabs today. All crabs in this fleet apart from this little fish. A little ras look. Whoop, don't, don't do it, don't do it. There you go. Come on, out you come. There's a little male velvet swimming crab. And chucked right at the back is another one. And I can get it out. There it is. Another male velvet. Been in the walls that one. Yep, yeah, I think I was too deep for the lobsters. I think all the lobsters are tight in shore. There's a female edible crab. All these little white worms that you can see, those are called keel worms. It's a little worm that creates a calcium shell around itself. Doesn't do her any harm and when she comes to shadow shell she'll lose them. She is, she's just under minimum landing size. And a couple of starfish. Call them a Cornish boomerang. No matter how far away you throw them they always keep coming back. This is a better crab. Bigger than the last. Ooh, it's worth measuring this one actually. Just up. Oh no. I'd say she's bang on. Your lucky day, love. My general thought is, if it's close, if you've really got to look, it's too small. I'll get her next year when she's bigger. Oh, 
Don't have to measure this one. Don't need to measure her. Oh, she's a monster. Oh yeah, easy. You can tell again, she's covered in these little worms. Generally, that just says that she's going to hold her shell. When they've got, when they're absolutely clean, when they've got none of these kill worms on, and when they're quite white underneath, it shows that they've just shed their shell. When they're clean like that, when they're fresh peeled, they're not very good to take because they haven't quite filled their shell yet. This one, I know, she'll be absolutely stacked with meat. So she's going in the bucket. And another one in there. I don't know how big she is. She's maybe. <laughs> I very nearly said something sexist there. You say, yeah, in your own time, love. Come on. She's stuck right at the back of the pot and she's got hold of it all. You can't, you can't be too rough with them. You can't rive them out because she'll just pull her arms and legs off. There she is. She's got one claw bigger than the other. And, oh, easy. Probably just on, just on legal size. <laughs> yeah, another one. Another one that's bang on the measure. I tell you what, curious. Curious that they've all been female edibles. Well, one for the pot. Let's get these pots repainted now. I'm going to move them further inshore, see if we can't get lobster in them next time. There's a lobster and two crabs in that one. Oh, I tell you what, I'm glad there's only two in this fleet because they're heavy. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus! I don't even know what to s Jesus! <laughs> it's not often that I'm lost for words. My, what? How? Oh my, I don't know if you can even see them in there. There's two of the biggest lobsters I've ever seen in my life. It's spin port round. Two of the biggest lobsters here that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, if whatever else has been in here, they've completely destroyed a couple of spider crabs. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Look at his claw. Oh my God. It's just an absolute dinosaur. Look at it. Look at that. And the other one's even bigger. <laughs> Oh my god, that's that. 
That one there is like the biggest lobster I've ever seen. This one I'm not even sure I'm going to get her up. It's um, it's inside of here. Yeah. <laughs> Try to be really gentle with. Tell this one's a female. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Two of them. Look at that. <laughs> Just oh my god. <laughs> this female here whoop, whoop. This female here Look at the size of her You can tell she's a female straight away Just by the, by the sheer size of her tail Look at that No V-notches No eggs My god she could have She'd have over 20,000 eggs at a go Look how old she is with all this, all the worms on her. I wouldn't even know how big she was. God, she's got to be like 140. It's one six, over 160. Over, over 160. The legal landing size in my area is 90 mil, so about that big. This lobster's like four times the size. And this one, just the size of them claws. Can't even, it can't even hold the weight of them up to that heavy. He's got to be like a 140 as well. He's a 145. Look at the size of them! <laughs> Just, he'd have your arm off, wouldn't he? Look! My God! <laughs> right, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to get my life into order. Right, come on, get your life together. Sort these two out. Right. that pop. Get her sat in that tub there. Uah! This one's got a little lobster in it and all. Look, <laughs> this one here, this one's probably legal landing size. It is. This one's 91 mil. This one's how big they're allowed to. This one is how big they are when you're allowed to keep them. Just look at the size difference. This is how big they usually are. Look at his kid, granddad. Just wow, just wow. <laughs> and we also have a great cock crab, a male edible crab, who's about on. Who's bang on legal landing size? Just my word. Get rid of that little one. Couldn't. You're allowed to keep two lobsters in my area, two lobsters per day. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly, couldn't morally keep those two big ones. In fact, actually, thinking about it, that big male and that big. That big female and that big male there 
They're probably go back to mates, they're probably a mated pair, that's why they're together. She'll have gone in pot and he'll have gone in there after her. What I'm gonna do with them two, they're just too big to keep. Just just too big. They could be older than I am. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna phone Hannah, I'm gonna phone my wife, I'm gonna see about getting James out, show him them both, then we'll V-notch them, then we'll put them back. And I'll keep that one lobster and that one crab. But oh my god. <laughs> right, I've come in and I've called Hannah and James down. And what have we got in these tubs here, James? We've just got some giant lobsters, haven't we? Yeah. Look at the size of that one. Just what? That's what why, an absolute that's giant. Why that was a Decepticon. Is it a Decepticon? Yeah. I think it's just a lobster. It's a Decepticon. But this one's, this one's the boy. Huh? Right. Yeah. Let's gently put him back in his tub. And this one, look at the size of this one. Oh. My goodness, look how big she is. Look how big her tail is, look. Oh, yeah. She has got smaller claws, hasn't she? He's got big claws and she's got small claws. But just look how big her back is. Look how tiny her front toes are. Look. Just look. She is just an absolute dinosaur. That was also doing what? That was doing what? That was like twilight spikes. Oh, yeah. She could be 60 years old. What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Can't in all good conscience keep something of this size at this age. And to be absolutely honest, once they get above a certain size, they don't taste very nice either. She could. I think she is about to breed. The way that the breeding cycle works is that he'll he'll peel first, and then he'll have a new hard shell. He'll find a female that's just about to peel. When she peels and she's soft, he'll protect her and mate with her. And then as she hardens up, then she'll have her eggs. So I think that the reason that these two are paired up is because she's about to shed her shell and they're about to breed. So what we will do is we will get a couple of photos. I am going to weigh her. I'm going to put her in a, in a bag and I'm going to weigh the bag. We'll get a few photos and then we'll put some V-notches in them. For those of you that haven't seen any of our videos before with the V-notching, is you mark with a V in their tails and that marks it as a breeding and it marks it as part of the breeding stock. A V? Yeah, that's a V. Yeah. It marks it as part of the breeding stock and it's illegal to land a lobster that's got a V notch in it. So it'll protect these for God it could even protect these for the next twenty years because they don't peel their shells as often when they're <laughs> Right so let's get some photos. Right. Put a couple of V notches in her tail. Oh, she's massive, isn't she? In, in fact, actually, she has a couple of. She might have even been V notched before. Just like that, look. There. And all it does is it just cuts out a little, a little V in her shell. That's marked her now as being a breeding stock female. Right. You can V-notch male lobsters. He is just too stunning a specimen. Look at that. He's just too stunning a specimen to just put back. Could put him straight back and he'd go straight into a net or straight into a pot. So I am going to stick a couple of V-notches in him as well. Because he'll he'll be older than I am. one there's the other one there you go now let's get these guys back out to sea right we've come out to an area of sea where I can't find any crab pots and I think these two will be very happy so you want to give her a stroke oh yeah there's her V-notches. 
And so they don't lose each other. God, he's just a bruiser. Look at the size of them claws on there. There's his V-notches as well. I'm gonna give him a little stroke as well. Look at the size of them claws. You put your hand on it, look how big it is. Whoa. And there we go. Oh, what a monster! One of the things that we try to do, to try, we try to explain, and definitely one of the things that I'm, I'm trying to teach my son James is the importance of sustainability. Could have legally taken those lobsters home, just morally couldn't. They are such a fantastic part of the breeding stock that we, I had to let them go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed joining us. All the very best. And what do we say, James? Bye from the fish locker.